Wow, the Mediterranean sea breeze picks up, blowing red embers across the beach. Wow. Uh, Sphinx, uh, that's uh, his, uh, hopefully, new lover. Uh, I could use some help uh, getting people uh, turned on uh, to my LSD. Could you hold a burning branch near me? Uh, yeah, in, in a few moments, the rumor exciting uh, prospect that, well, that old man, he's over 30, he's given out free LSD, and he's from San Francisco. He's from the, yep, hate Ashbury. Yeah, I mean, it ricochets, uh, and it's translated <laughs> into 14 languages. We're talking earth people here, earth camp, earth freaks. Fuck the nations. Let's take over the planet. Uh, people. He gets out a pack of gold sew uh, sewing needles. Either. Sewing needles? Oh, uh, well, and then he opens his... He's got a five-gram bottle. It's not very big. A five-gram bottle would be about maybe that tall. And, mm -hmm. you know, that around... But it's got five grams of crystal acid. One gram makes 4,000 trips of 250 micrograms. He's got 20,000 trips in the bottle. Talk about a psychedelic genie. Uh, so what he does is he, he takes the eye of the needle and he just dips it into the crystal. And then he taps it as much as he can on the edge. And there's a little almost microscopic dust on the end of the needle. And then he just places the needle on the tongue of the hungry young birds gawking for food. And uh, that's it. And, you know, it's precisely measured out. It's, it's going to be between, you know, 200 and 2,000 micrograms. You know, it's going to be between two and... Uh, 10 trips. Uh, depends on the wind, really, how much you get. Uh, if the breeze goes through, uh, it's a little less. And within minutes. This this stuff comes on right away. This is not like you wait 40 minutes to like, did I get off? Or, no, it's like <laughs> 60 seconds. This is a cheetah. This is a Ferrari. This is a Tesla. <laughs> Zero to 60 in like seconds, okay? Well, uh, so Rasta, he, Rasta opens her mouth and, <laughs> yes, it does, huh? Oh, she's a demonstration. Uh, lovely dummy. <laughs> you know. um, and so everybody gets dust. I mean, there's kind of a mythological figure in hippie culture, the mad doser. You know, like at rainbow gatherings, you know, getting everybody off on the good stuff. And within minutes, oh, oh, I mean, it was a good party already, but now it's going supernatural and science fictional and sexual <laughs> motivated. Yeah. Oh, Rasta, that nymph from the West Indies. You know, the age of consent in Holland to just f fuck your brains out is 14 years old. Wish the rest of the world would catch up with that. Yeah, she's she's street legal, and she's enticing Sphinx, seducing him. Doesn't take much, but uh, she entices him away from the party. Footprints in the sand to her crypt cave. We're talking level one. There's a hierarchy of uh, freaks. Level one, tier two, tier three. You know, you got to work your way up with good karma to get into, well, her cave is special. I mean, she's made it herself uh, with uh, a sea moss, a mattress, and... Uh, tree bark hmm 
Uh, ferns? Well, the tree bark is, is for sexual scratching. <laughs> um, Nile Valley complexion. Her dark breasts, suckable, <laughs> succulent, and her tan, man, oh, man, oh, excite Sphinx tonight. And so, look at uh, these books. Uh, they're sexually explicit. Because that's where the hippies lived like. Sex, nudity was a, one of the pillars of hippie life. So if you're prudish, you know, push the off button right now. Because this story's going to get, we're going to get down right now. I love those birds. Live, I live on a South Pacific island loaded with songbirds. Yeah, in a rainforest. Oh, you're still here. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're in the cave, huh? Naked. And Sphinx, he grabs Rasta's butt with one hand as he spreads her pussy lips with his fingers. And oh! Encounters a cotton string. She's menstruating. Rasta, like, uh, no problem. Fuck me in the ass. She gets down on all fours, looks back over her shoulder at Sphinx, and uh, with her ass upturned for him to. Uh, well, Sphinx gets down there with his tongue first to wet her up and then he takes her there until they <laughs> in sexual anal ecstasy yeah. <laughs> oh Sphinx feels, feels magnificent oh he gifts his uh, nib fat Rasta, a booster dose of the crystal. Evening's going real well. And, uh, well, then he remembers Biozone's invitation, fertility pagan ritual in the most master catacomb of them all, the mega chamber with the arched uh, cubiculum roof. Off they go, hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Wander through the mystic labyrinth, all oh, interconnecting galleries, yeah, illuminated by flaming torches, uh, before they enter the catacomb of the Grand Master Bison. Yeah. Well, they're they're greeted by Bison's uh, grotto mistress, a filthy rich Italian. Caligula, oh yeah, Isla Capri, mm-hmm, naked. Oh, except she's got gondola-shaped <laughs> uh, Aladdin slippers from Tibet, and as you go up her legs, <laughs> ah, he hates to stare at her chest, but... That emerald necklace from Colombia, bling, bling, hard not to look. Um, wow, oh, she's got the dry uh, crustings of sperm flake in her tangled hair, trailing across her forehead oh, and neck. Seems uh, Biozone's private fertility ritual already came down before they got there. Okay, uh, delicious decadent Whew. Caligula kisses them both on both cheeks. We're talking European style. <laughs> she smells like good shit. Caligula escorts Finks and Ross. They have reserved a uh, seating on cave flagstones. There's a dozen other hippies at least uh, surrounding Biozone and a weird contraption he's invented 
The contraption is a wheel. Well, it's a bicycle wheel rim <laughs> without the tire. And the wheel from the axle is suspended by a Greek uh, nylon fishing line all the way uh, from the highest point in the mega chamber all the way almost to the cave floor. <sighs> I gotta catch my breath a second because there's gonna be a lot of it describing going on right here. So get ready to uh, let your imagination unleash a little bit. You don't have a book, you don't have the drawing, so you're gonna have to think up on this imaginatively. <laughs> mm -hmm. 